Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, I'm currently on my way to work. So, as you guys know, today is Valentine's Day, but it's also Throwback Thursday. So, with that being said, I just wanted to do a vlog. So, this is going to be a vlog slash story time slash throwback thursday whatever call it which one <laughs> but that nah, so yeah like everybody knows valentine's day is supposed to be the day that everybody looks at well mainly girls i guess for many different reasons right now those reasons being either a girl is trying to find out if a guy is worth her time meaning like is he really into her or girls use valentine's day as a way of seeing if a guy is cheap or not <laughs> like girls use valentine's day as a day just to like i guess enhance or show more of your love of your partner or whatever and then you just have the girls that sing boom and they be like valentine's day right so yeah whatever um me personally i'm not gonna speak on my situation i'm gonna just leave that at that that's neither here nor there <laughs> but so yeah like i'm gonna just get into it so don't get me wrong i've had a couple of valentines over my 25 years or whatever here recently for the past couple of years i haven't and this is what i say about that situation now i feel that for valentine's day you don't necessarily have to be dating someone your friends can be your valentine's your family can be your valentine i just feel like society hypes valentine's day up as this big old couples thing whatever but yeah so i'm not gonna lie i was a little salty you know i was salty because i was like damn nobody give a f about me enough they can't even buy me a chocolate like a, a heart with some chocolates in it for the 99 cents store like i am very appreciative okay let me just throw that out there i am very appreciative that don't mean i'm gonna eat the shit but it's just a thought that counts you know let me know that you thinking of me boom boom hey right, so we gonna rewind back to the last time i had a valentine so i went to this popular school in new york i'm not gonna geo stamp it because you know you lurking um so i went to a popular middle school and that school was huge it was popping like literally that was my last school that i was ever in where i could say i had a bond with damn near everybody like anybody who went to this school feels the same exact way like we didn't feel like we was going to school we felt like we was we was going to be with family like extended family family we didn't live with like it was really that lit but yeah so there was this boy that had went to the school as well and i didn't i had seen him just in passing not necessarily in the school but i had seen him like outside of the school or whatever and then he disappeared never knew his name because i was actually new to the school or whatever and i just didn't give about nobody at that time but anyway so fast forward this is years after middle school i think i'm in high school now i'm probably like in my last year of high school or whatever and one of the girls that i knew from around the way by the middle school me and her was talking or either she had tagged me in a post on facebook and i guess he was lurking on her page and he he must have clicked where she tagged me or either my comment or whatever and he slid into my dm like boom no fucks given oh excuse me 
but yeah like he slid into my dm or whatever and we just started vibing and like i at that moment i didn't remember that he was the guy that i knew from around the way by the middle school so whatever you know you you reminiscing this that and the third whatever and he was actually very very cool like i liked his vibe he was cool and we did that for a minute and then we started hanging out and if i'm not mistaken i think this was like at the end of the previous year so now fast forward to the following year it's around valentine's day and we had we have made it like an official thing you know whatever so yeah we started dating and for valentine's day i remember now i'm gonna just put this out there i am not materialistic when it comes to relationships like i don't expect you to buy me diamonds and pearls and jewelry and clothes and birkins and all of that if you do that's fine but i'm not looking for that i'm the type of girl that i love the simple things like you don't even have to spend money like literally you can cook dinner pop a movie in i'll be good like i really will be good because i'm low-key a homebody i love to be in my home as long as it's entertaining you know but whatever so boom it's valentine's day i get dressed he gets dressed and he's like we're gonna go out somewhere so we went to let me not we we took a walk in manhattan we took a walk in manhattan we walked past the empire state building like we was just walking around and we was talking and i didn't care that we didn't go to like a fancy dinner or a movie or whatever like of course february in new york is cold anyway so nobody going to no central park or nothing like that but like i really enjoyed that whole situation like us just walking in like downtown because not for nothing i was born in manhattan but I was raised in another borough. So with that being said, like I really didn't know too much about Manhattan. Like I didn't take the time to walk around. Like, you know, Manhattan is known as a tourist place. Like anybody that comes here from another state, another country, whatever, they stop in Manhattan and they, they like to walk around and learn about Manhattan culture, whatever, New York culture through Manhattan. I've never done that. So I don't know shit about my city, but well, I don't know shit about Manhattan, but anyway so yeah and then after that we he took me to like this japanese this japanese restaurant or whatever and that was dope and i think for the rest of the night we hung out still talking still vibing having fun whatever and that was it but the reason like that sounds so simple to people they're gonna be like if i grow like that's what you did for valentine's day yes that's what i did for valentine's day like at that time that was my boo that was my baby like we was in a relationship so what we did did not matter to me because again i'm not materialistic and i'm the type of person that i i appreciate the time that i spend with someone period no matter what it is so that was the last time that i had a, um a valentine's and that was in what 20 probably like 2014 20 yeah 2014 maybe whatever now we gonna we gonna take it all the way back because this is this is this is a disaster and i'm putting this out there because there's niggas that do this all right and it's not cute it's not fucking ooh, it's not cute all right so boom i'm gonna take it back to when i was in middle school and i'm gonna give you a little back history on why I say this was duh, all right? So I'm in middle school, I was new to this school. It's the same school, the same popping school that I was telling you about. I entered there in fifth grade. That is middle school, right? That's middle school, junior high school. Whatever, y'all know the vibes. So I'm starting this new school, whatever. Like I'm filling people out, filling out my teachers. I'm that type of person, like, 
I don't just hop into a new situation. I gotta fill you out, cause if I don't, if I don't like you, if I don't like the scenery, whatever, it just ain't gonna work. The vibe is, the vibe is gonna be dead. So, luckily, I had some lit teachers, and then my classmates was lit too. Now, there was this boy. I'm gonna give you the initials. I ain't gonna name tag. I don't wanna head tap nobody. So his initials was T W. All right. This boy was super short, but he was so cute to me. He was so cute to me, and I had a crush on him. And I remember like me and him was in the same class on top of that so th that just made it even more of a plus so every day it, it made like back then if you had a crush on somebody and y'all went to like the same school or whatever it made you want to come to school so it made me want to come to school and flex like whatever so i remember after a while like i had like these group of friends a group of female friends or whatever and i used to tell them like oh my god like i have the biggest crush on tw like i really do and i'm the type of girl that and even to this day if i have a crush on a guy if i like a guy it's very rare that you will see me go out my way and say to the guy like hey i'm digging you da -da -da. like i don't do that i I, back then my friends would be like my wingmen now I kind of like throw the little flirting out there and just hope you catch it if you catch it you catch it if you don't you don't like I don't know I'm just super shy in that sense but so yeah I think I think they told him eventually like hey um she has a crush on you and he curved me like he curved me he was like I'm good. I was like, okay. Like, all right. So if you know me in real life, like I'm real life gangster. Like I, I hold stuff down on the outside, but on the inside, you may not know. Unless you're like really, really close to me and you're very in tune with me, you'll know when something bothers me. If it's not visible, you'll know when something internally is bothering me. But yeah, so I brushed it off on the outside. But on the inside, I was crushing. I, I was just like, am I ugly? Like, I know back then I was, like, young and I wasn't, like, into into my face and my body and all of that. So I was just like, am I ugly? Does he find me ugly? Like, what the hell? But whatever. I, 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 was, I was just like, all right, I'm going to leave it alone for right now. But I'm going to make him mine eventually. <laughs> like, I was on that type of time. So, me in sixth grade now. Still got a crush on this boy. But I'm not pushing the issue because it was already brought to the table. He already know I like him. It is what it is. So, whatever. Now we're not in the same class as each other. Whatever. I don't talk to him. He don't talk to me. But I just so happened to be cool with his friends. So, and then my friends was cool with him and his friends. So, we would see each other in passing. But I guess, like, for me and him, it was a little awkward. Because it was a situation of him knowing that I liked him. But he, like, curved me. But we still in each other's face, you know, type. Alright. So, now fast forward to 8th grade. Mind you, this was 5th grade. 5th grade when I when it basically was out there to him that I had a crush on him and I liked him and he curved me so now eighth grade all right I'm gonna I'm save that for the end of the end of the end of the story so randomly it's around like February time this boy TW he tells his friends to go tell Nani that I like her and ask her if she wants to be my girl. Now here this comes. My feelings in that situation was half and half. And the reason why I say half and half is because I still did like him. But it wasn't as intense as 5th grade or 6th grade or 
separate. Bro, this is like four years eight, four years later after I confessed my love for you. And now all of a sudden you won't pay attention. But anyway. So yeah, um I slept on it a little bit and I was just like, all right, maybe I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I was like, all right, well we was young in fifth grade, you know. I mean, nobody was looking for you to put a ring on it like we in fifth grade. But whatever, I gave him a chance. And so boom, Valentine's Day comes up. And he walks up to me in front of literally everybody. I think this was at the beginning of the day where everybody is like walking to their classes. He walks up to me in front of everybody. He hands me two teddy bears, like two teddy bears. And I don't know what the third item was, but it was three items. It was probably like a box of chocolates and two teddy bears. I was so happy like to me that was cute because not all the time do you get a guy that likes you and he'll do stuff like that like that's the romance part of you know being in a relationship a lot of guys don't have that a lot of guys just feel like hey I'm enough you know like why well, I gotta buy you gifts on top of that like bitch you ask for too much but anyway um so yeah like he gave me the two teddy bears and I when I tell you that I adored those teddy bears I had them up in my room on the top of my dresser like I pushed all my other teddy bears to the back of the dresser and I put his right on the front here is where the heartbreak comes in now the story is vague because trust me like I said middle school, this was 8th grade. I graduated high school about 5 years ago. So, story may be a little whatever. But, I don't remember if it was one of my friends or if it was his friends. But they came up to me and they told me that the teddy bears that TW gave me for Valentine's Day, he did not buy. He took them from his sister and he gave them to me. matter of fact i wouldn't even say heartbroken i was just tight like i was tight and i, I was disgusted let me tell you why the issue is not that he didn't buy the teddy bears like i i don't care the issue for me was that he took them from his sister who was supposed to be his little sister and this is if he even did because i didn't even go out my way to decipher like i just didn't care anymore i like i told you guys i had liked him from fifth grade and it took him to eighth grade to decide to want to be in a relationship with me and at that point my liking of him was not that strong so it was very little tolerance of certain things and that right there did it for me so after that i just wasn't with him no more but i was disgusted because i'm like bro how you gonna take your little sister teddy bears like you could go to the 99 cent store get you a little 99 cent teddy bear i'd have been good like one that tells me that you don't know me very well because if you knew me very well like bro you had four years to figure me out before you decided to be in a relationship with me because remember you did curve me but if you knew me very well, you would have known you could have took your ass to the dollar store or Dollar Tree. Well, they, I don't think they had Dollar Tree back then. But you could have took your ass to the 99 cent store. You could have got me a 99 cent teddy bear. You could have got me a 99 cent rose. And you could have got me them nasty ass stale ass chocolates off them. And I'd have been good. I'd have appreciated the shit out of it. Shit would have only came up to $3.99 in tax. I'd have been good. Like, but for you to take your sister's teddy bears, that made me feel like i don't i don't know like i feel bad for his little sister i'm just like bro what happens if she come home and she's like where my teddy bears at and i felt like a asshole for me to keep them so what did i do i threw them shits out i threw them out and i did not talk to him after that i did not i'm lying now i did but it dwindled it dwindled so fast like i was just over it at that point but now with that being said my message to you guys out there is if you're not if you're not capable if you're not good at 
or if you're just not into buying gifts for a female around Valentine's Day. Like, I get it. The whole Valentine's Day thing is hyped up or whatever. I gotcha. But there is other ways that you can show your appreciation of a girl. And not even that. Like I said, the thought counts. Like, you don't always have to buy something. You can do things. And it doesn't even have to be a female that you're in a relationship with. It could be a friend that's a female. It could be, like, you get what I'm saying? So, all of that, taking other people's stuff just to give to another girl. I guess this is a message to, like, the younger crowd, you know? Because I'm, I, I will hope that nobody in my age group, like, I'm in the 20, 30 range, I really hope that y'all wouldn't be taking your sister's teddy bears to get to no female. I would, I, I would hope. But if y'all are, you're dead wrong. All right? Like, just get it together. Get your life together. All right. But yeah, so that's my story, Tom. And I'm going to give y'all a little extended part of that. So like i said i entered this school at fifth grade and i had like this group of girlfriends and then it was my crush with his group of guy friends and we were all like pretty much cool you get what i'm saying i was friends with majority of these females from fifth grade up to eighth grade like literally inseparable didn't didn't matter if we wasn't in the same class we found a way to hang out sometime during the day and at lunchtime we was lit we were so cool we even used to fight like we was family like our little arguments and then eventually get over it type shit but why and this is the girl that i told that i had a crush on tw she developed a crush on him come eighth grade and she told me about it it didn't bother me because one i was young like all of those girl code things like they just wasn't in place or either i just didn't care because like i said at that point i was over it he already curved me like it was set in stone whatever sis gets mad because tw asked me out and i said yes sis was crying because me and him started dating sis was mad that she went to the other girls that we was friends with and told them and they came back to me and they told me that oh i was dead wrong because i knew that she liked him or whatever like how could i date him knowing that she liked him and these girls literally stopped talking to me because they thought that i was like this fucked up individual and i'm like sis could never say nothing to me a day in her life going forward because the bitch knew that he was my crush from fifth grade so excuse me boo 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 i got dibs on that like that's mine all right i liked him from fifth grade i wasn't paying attention to no other niggas i wanted tw all right second of all how are you as my friend able to develop a crush on a nigga that you knew that I had a crush on from the gate? Like, really, sis? Hey. Then three, how y'all little raggedy bitches gonna sit there and come at me for dating a nigga? Like, I could have been... Yo, let me tell you, like, way back then my attitude was crazy like i could have been that bitch to be like well bitch you're mad like he likes me he doesn't like you <laughs> like i could have been on that type of time i wasn't even on that type of time like i actually felt bad for her in a sense because i'm like i know how it feels to like somebody and that person not like that you know what i'm saying Hello. But then after like them 2.5 seconds, I didn't care anymore. Because it's just like, girl, you just sat here and developed. You put yourself in the predicament, all right? Because you sat there and you got a crush on the dude that I had a crush on from fifth grade. You wait till eighth grade to decide. That's like, if I would have dated him back in fifth grade, and let's say me and him wasn't together in eighth grade, you would have tried to, to cuff him in eighth grade. Like, what type of friend are you? So, 
that was a good ass eye opener let me tell you this i wasn't upset i was just like boop 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 all for y'all bye okay because that to me that was that was just like a cesspool of toxicness if i'd have kept these females as friends and if this shit would have happened when i was older baby let me tell you i'd have had a freaking i'd have had a case i'd have had a case because i'd either i'd either beat one of them hoes up and i'm not promoting violence but i will promote self-defense right is right wrong is wrong okay but i'd have beat one of them bitches up and for shorty to sit there and develop a crush on my crush ooh. so yeah as you guys know today's valentine's day i gave y'all a little insight on my valentine or whatever my my throwback valentines or whatever and yeah like but yeah we're going to see what happens today as far as valentine but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this random ass video. If you guys are interested in any of my content going forward, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and also click that bell so you can get a notification every time I upload some more litness because it is coming. I got so many ideas, but I would so love for you guys to like put me on to whatever y'all would be interested in seeing. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.